Okay, so this feature here is the RSS URL feature. And uh, basically what you do here is you copy paste. Um, if you have a blog, uh, you could copy paste your blog feed in here. And um, it would ping it every time um, a 24-hour unique visitor comes to your site and calls this ping script to action. Um, another thing too though is, is something that I use quite often very frequently and actually recommend really is um, take all the backlinks that you have create an RSS out of out of them and then uh, paste that RSS feed in here that way you push the, the link just through your backlinks to your site instead of directly pinging your site which can um, if, if it's done too much, can appear spammy. Uh, I have never ever had a problem with that. I have um, had a script on even without the 24 hour um, uniqueness feature on and I've never ever had a problem with it even though I've had a lot of traffic to my sites but I would not necessarily recommend it um, if, if you do have a lot of traffic coming to your site. Um, so but yeah, like I was saying, like what I would recommend is create an RSS feed out of your backlinks, and then simply pasting that RSS feed in here. Um, if you don't have any R uh, backlinks, um, as I will explain a little later on, there's some services here at the very bottom that I would recommend. Um, it's actually a service that I provide myself, uh, my company, um, and and we actually give you a ready-to-go RSS feed if you. Uh, use our service so basically like this service here for example uh, you'd be getting your 25 backlinks a day and then you get a, an RSS feed that you can simply just copy paste in here and then every single day um, as new backlinks come get added to it they get pinged through the RSS feed that you have in here so just be creative create an RSS feed out of your backlinks uh, or, or if you don't want to do that, you don't want to go through the hassle, um, just simply paste in the RSS feed from your site, or or you can also leave a blank. It really is up to you. Um, and just to show you um, exactly how this works, let's just go to Pingo-matic. So as you can see right here. So this is pretty much the format that we follow. This is the, the very script that we use to process everything through. So the RSS feed would be this bottom portion right here. And as it says right here, it is optional. And as it says right here, it is optional. So you don't have to put anything in there, but you might as well, right? Since you already installed the script, you might as well use that feature as well. So again, um, use it at your own discretion. Use it the way you want to use it. Uh, it really is up to you. Okay.